know, it's the jealousy of the whole peloton. Every other team wants to have it. It's a big advantage to, uh, to wear a Gava jacket. You'll see a lot of other riders in the pro peloton wearing it, an unmarked version. Plain black, unbranded, Castelli, Gavas. There was a lot of riders asking me about this jacket. Finally, I'm able to use it officially. All the other riders immediately, I mean, even other teams, recognized that that was a jacket that was changing the game. Back in 2009, at that time, rain clothing was terrible. Cycling clothing in general, there wasn't so much uh, thinking about the aero. There was uh, plastic rain jackets, big tents. We organized a focus group during the Brixia tour in August. We talked about their cold and wet clothing and we spent the first, first 45 minutes talking about the rain jacket that they had at the time. I remember I had this rain jacket that I had stitched together with pins. And it was made with this thick, plasticky type of fabric. This is aero, but I can't breathe. And he said that when it's raining and not so cold, I just use this. Uh, and I looked at it and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not sure if you would see any pro rider riding with that anymore. <laughs> Important thing is to keep warm enough, but yet still be able to race. That was the initial idea. up nine or ten samples for the team that was doing the classics so here we are end of February 2010. We knew we had created a breakthrough product for fall weather racing and training and we couldn't wait to hear the riders feedback. Soren and I hop on the plane we go up and we meet up with the riders outside of Ghent. And I remember Heinrich Hausler saying something like let's just hope that it rains tomorrow on the way to Ghent so we're just gonna go to the front and, and drill it. We got the jackets and it was like wow this is something really special you know. I never before or never since, since seen a seen riders respond in this way to a, to a new garment. And we came to the first race. Everybody was looking at us. Uh, you know, nobody said anything, but uh, they were all looking at us, thinking, "What is this? What is this?" You know. The day that kind of everything changed, Milan San Remo, 2013. This is the day that it snowed on San Remo. It rained the entire time and at least half the peloton was in gamma jackets. Alla partenza di quella Sanremo era piuttosto freddo e a metà della corsa il tempo cambiò radicalmente e io mi trovavo in fuga e cominciò persino a nevicare e così presi dalla mia borsa del freddo in ammiraglia la gabba. Poi alla fine la fuga fu ripresa e quindi mi accontentai di arrivare all'arrivo però da quel momento in poi non mi sono più separato dalla mia gabba né in allenamento né in corso. If you remember that season from the very beginning of the season through Tirreno Adriatico where it rained cold every single day and half the peloton is in GABA jackets where they've taken a marker and, and cancelled out the logos. It was fantastic times for us. From 2013 San Remo, that was a day that really the GABA, let's say that really a day that the GABA exploded into the world view. Each time we sat down to improve the GABA, we had troubles really improving on the original. We asked our uh, pro riders how can we improve the GABA from the previous version. The overall request was to having uh, a more uh, water-resistant product, uh, keeping the same breathability. We worked with Gore on updating the fabrics, trying to get to something that was, you know, you could really race in hard rain all day long and stay comfortably dry on the inside. Winning choice for the fabric came up to be the Gore-Tex Infinium Windstopper. We actually gave it for the first time the seam ceiling over the shoulders. We actually moved it to a sort of a body mapping where the front-facing fabrics are a little bit warmer. The back-facing fabrics are a little bit lighter. Gaba jacket was also expanded into the Perfetto family. I think the Gaba it uh, exemplifies what we try to do in, in Castelli. Ideas of how we can make even brand new types of garments that have never existed before that can change the way you ride. Thank you.